Well, hi, all my friends. I hope you all had a uh, terrific weekend. I know I did a very relaxing, loving weekend with my sweetie and um, did some music and watched football games, yelled at the TV, <laughs> um, connected with my friends on Facebook and just, you know, enjoyed their lives and that kind of thing. So very nice. Um, and of course, this is time for us to be thankful and to be loving and to be um, thinking about how we can make the world a better place and, um, you know, just uh, listening a little bit to Lorna Byrne this morning um, give another interview uh, and uh, yeah, listening to about her foundation for children, uh, which um, I am a member of her foundation, and I um, uh, think that children are very, very important to us. I don't want to uh, have a future world where having a child is a rare thing and that you just stop and stare and just in amazement because there's a child in the world. And that's a possible outcome if we don't change our way of doing things in the world. Um, so we really, really need to consider what each of us are doing to our planet, to each other, um, <clears throat> and we really need to stop um, leaders who are not doing what we the people want for this world, um, and pray for them, and that they hear their own angels that they that they adhere to God um, that they that their souls come forward more and that their love comes out more towards the people that they're serving because that's what you're doing when you're in office you're serving others you have decided to help other people and not yourselves or your own pockets or your own friends pockets right anyway okay so we are uh, in the book of Acts, and um, Paul was just preaching about the resurrection. And I'm going to just read 31 to 34, chapter 17 uh, again, because I don't think I was able to get all that in the last time. Um, starting on 31, please pray before hearing God's word. Uh, center yourself. Because he had the point of a day in which he will judge the world in righteousness by that man whom he hath ordained, whereof he has given assurance unto all men that he hath raised him from the dead. And when they had heard of the resurrection of the dead, some mocked, and others said, We hear thee again of this matter. So Paul departed from among them. Howbeit certain men cleaved to him and believed, among which was Dionysus, uh, the uh, Aropaeget, a woman named Darius, and others with him. Um, th this is a result of him being in Athens. And, you know, it's so interesting. They believed in all these other gods, but they didn't believe in the one true God, uh, the, the one unnamed. Um, and uh, we today, too... You know, have to know that God loved us so very much, fell in love with us, sent his son to uh, forgive us of our sins, how we were in the past, and that we do have a soul. Our soul is from God, from his heart, and that if we, every time we pray, every time we bring our soul forward in our bodies and have it intertwine with our bodies, the lighter we become, the more we're able to heal, heal ourselves and each other through prayer, through thanksgiving, uh, through caring for each other. And I know many of you will probably mock and scoff and, and, and snicker, and that's probably just because you're afraid that it's true um, and that you are hoping that maybe it is true. But it is, I'm telling you. Um, from my own experiences in, in my life, uh, I know that God's real in my life. I've seen it happen um, 
miracles happen. I've seen him work in my own life and in other people's lives. And I've seen how love changes people for the better. So uh, I, even though we can't explain music, we hear it. We know how it makes us feel. We know how we are moved by it emotionally, um, whether it makes us, uh, pulls at our heartstrings or makes us happy. Um, we, but you know, to try to explain that to somebody who's deaf, you know, you can do it through vibrations maybe, um, through hand signs, um, but you just can't describe it completely. Uh, you give them an idea, but that's about the best you can do, right? So just the same thing, uh, you know, you see evidence of God every day in front of you and many things that you miss. And you just need to stop and smell the roses and take a slow down and recognize what's going on in your life and, and the little things in life that matter. And then you'll see God's greatness in that. All right, chapter 18. After these things, Paul departed from Athens and came to Corinth and found a certain Jew named Achaia, Achilla, born in Pontus, lately come from Italy with his wife, Priscilla, because that Claudius had condemned all Jews to depart from Rome and came unto them. And because he was of the same craft, he abode with them and wrought, and by their occupation they were they were tent makers. And uh, so I guess Paul uh, knew how to, to uh, work the tents, um, or make tents. And he reasoned in the synagogue every Sabbath and persuaded the Jews and the Greeks. And when Silas and Timothy, Timothus was come upon Macedonia, Paul was present in the spirit and testified to the Jews that Jesus was the Christ. Sorry. Paul was pressed in the spirit and testified to the Jews that Jesus was Christ. And when they opposed themselves and blasphemed, he took his remnant and said unto them, Your blood be upon your own heads. I am clean. From henceforth I will go into the Gentiles. So he never went to them again because they just were so stubborn, so hard-headed about it. And he departed hence and entered into the certain men's house in name uh, Justice, one that worshiped God, whose house joined and heard, uh, joined hard to the synagogues. And Crispus, the chief ruler of the synagogue, believed on the Lord with all his house, and many of the Corinthians heard and believed and were baptized. Then spoke the Lord to Paul in the night by a vision, Be not afraid, but speak and hold not thy peace. For I am with thee, and no man shall set thee to hurt thee, for I have much people in this city. And he continued there a year and six months, teaching the word of God among them. And when Galileo was the deputy of Achaia, the Jews made insurrection with one accord against Paul, and brought him to the judgment seat, saying, This fellow persuaded men to worship God contrary to the law. And when Paul was now about to open his mouth, Galileo said unto the Jews, If it were a matter of wrong or wicked lewdness, O ye Jews, reason what would I reason sorry, O you Jews, reason would that I should bear with you? But it be a question of your words and names and of your law. Look you to it, for I will be no judge of such matters. And he drove them from the judgment seat. Drove them from the judgment seat. Then all the Greeks took Sothenes, the chief ruler of the synagogue, and beat him before the judgment seat. And Galileo cared for none of those things. And Paul, after his tarried, after this tarried there yet a good while, and then took his leave of the brethren, and sailed hence to Syria, and with him Priscilla and 
Aquila having shorn his head in Centuria, for he had a vow. Uh, and he came to Ephesus and left them there, but he himself entered into the synagogue and reasoned with the Jews. And when they desired him to tarry longer time with them, he consented not, but bade them farewell, <clears throat> saying, I must by all means keep this feast that cometh in Jerusalem, but I will return again unto you, if God will. And he sailed from uh, Ephesus, 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 okay. And he had landed at Caesarea and gone up and saluted the church, and he went down to Antioch. And then he spent some time there. He departed and went all over the country of Gala uh, Galatia, Galatia, and uh, Phygeia, in order to uh, strengthen all of his disciples. And certain Jews named um, Apollos was born in Alexandria, an eloquent man, mighty in the scriptures, came to um, Ephesus. And the man was instructed in the way of the Lord, and being fervent in the spirit, he spoke and taught diligently the things of the Lord, knowing only the baptism of John. He began to speak boldly in the synagogue, whom when Achilia and Priscilla had heard, they took him into them, expounded unto him the way of God, more perfectly and when he was disposed to pass to Achaia the brethren wrote exhorting the disciples to receive him who when he was come helped them much which had believed through grace for he mightily convinced um, the Jews that publicly showing by scriptures that Jesus was Christ so I'm going to stop it right there at chapter 19, and I'll continue in my next video reading some more. Okay. Love you guys. Again, if, I, if you're not able to listen to any videos, I wish you happy Thanksgiving this week, and take care of each other. Be loving to each other. Okay? Love you. Bye.